based around a business model of selling uh, the silver disc. And, and as, as one whose life depends on that, I, I know it very well. I think record labels uh, certainly play a role in, in what's going on uh, in the industry. I think they certainly could have a place in the future. But I think the entire way a label is structured and set up has to be completely and radically rethought. I really don't care about the whole, yeah. you know, uh, piracy thing, because what it does is it breeds more fans, breeds more merchandise sales, breeds more ticket sales. We cater our business to, you know, transition with that, and yeah, our CD sales aren't what they used to be, but our business is ultimately gonna be healthier for it. Ferret would not be where we are right now if it weren't for the internet and where it went. No doubt. Um, I mean, when I started it, I was doing, seven inches where I'd sell a thousand of them though I was a lucky like at shows you know face to face there was you know my distribution network was I wrote for a band that toured and I would stop at stores and you know put shit on consignment and maybe get paid all these little kids douchebag kids whatever are just downloading it and you've lost you know two thirds of your sales through kids file sharing and hey dude I'll hook you up I'll burn your CD check it out and it saves a kid vinyl what have you and it's affecting the publishers and it's affecting the artist's ability to tour because labels don't want to put tour support into them. So it's really just sort of had a horrible effect on, on music overall because if labels know that they're going to sell, you know, a third the amount of product that they sold five years ago or ten years ago, they're now not going to put as much money into making those records. They're not going to put as much care into making those records. And the records and the artists are really suffering because there's no, so many labels are getting rid of their A&R departments. Someone will figure out a way to, to police it and some kids will get mad for a while, but in the long run you'll get better music. I mean, if bands aren't getting paid and, you know, labels spending $50,000 to put out a record and then everyone downloads it illegally, they're not going to spend that kind of money again and the bands will disappear and the music will disappear and... You know, and everyone will be out there uh, listening to Top 40 music and it'll be horrible and I'll probably commit suicide. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how long the transition will take. I mean, do, do I think that eventually retail could go away and be replaced by digital? Sure. And, and I think that it will happen a lot sooner in the pop market than in the metal market. Part of that pessimism also came even within the internet crowd who I think expected like, you know, they think that, well, hey, if I can get it for free on the internet, I should be able to get it for free, and why are you making such a big stink about it, Mr. Rockstar, Mr. Artist, you know, I should have it for free, and you know, no, you can't have it for free. It costs me money to make it, and you should have to pay for it.